what I've gathered and what I understand is that there was a, uh, a suicide bomber that was a trusted Afghan intelligence agent and they were a counterpart, they were a co-worker of Dario's, apparently was acting a little bit fidgety and uh, they knew something wasn't quite right. He had not approached the helicopters fully, apparent, from what I understand, when he detonated himself. And, and uh, from what we've heard, Dario was, was blown back by the shock and landed on his back on the ground and, uh, you know, kind of stood up and did a quick check and, and gave the medics a thumbs up. You know, I, I considered him as my son and uh, I didn't realize how much of a leader he was. I, although I should have, I know it from the point that he went into scouts and went through Eagle Scouts and I went to camp with him several times and his mother did too. You know, Dari and I both went to St. Andrews and we remained, you know, real close friends all through school and then, you know, got involved with each other in scouting and, and really a lot of the friends that, that I consider some of my closest friends, they're really all related um, from the time that I spent with them in scouting and uh, went to the service, uh, ranger training first. He served in uh, Korea, did a little stint in a Panama during some, some event that we had down there. It's all these scout friends stay together. I mean, there is nothing that Steve can't find from a scout friend. He always made an effort to call. He would call, and we saw and talked to Dario more than we did people that lived in the same town. We kind of knew that he had a, a weird job. I mean, he said he worked for the State Department. We believed him. And really kind of downplay. And, you know, I'm just a pencil pusher. You know, I stamp passports and, and that sort of stuff. And, uh, and we always suspected that he, you know, probably had a little bit deeper role than, than something like that. Um, and he served in, uh, in several areas in Saudi Arabia and uh, India, um, a few other places, which uh, he never talked much about, about that. did a quick check and, and gave the medics a thumbs up. You know, and, and the extent of his injury uh, was not known. Apparently some shrapnel had penetrated the side of his vest and Dario worked with the, the, the medics and the folks on hand to evacuate and move those people out of harm's way. Um, and then at a certain point collapsed um, and had, they attempted to do what they could there on the field, but, uh, but they weren't able to, to save him. So he, he died there on the battlefield. And just slowly over time, things have, pieces have come out, and all of those same people had told us, you know, you're gonna find out what a hero he was. I knew how great he was, the type of leader he was, but the outpouring from people all over the world that have worked with him, they've come out and told what a wonderful person he was. Letters and letters and emails from everybody, and I just didn't realize how, how great he was. why Dario had such an influence on us is that we had been on the fence for over a year with Conice. And it was always that taking a risk, not wanting to take a risk. And every time Steve would talk to Dario about things, he would always, he was one of those guys, you know, go for it, go for it, do it, do what makes you happy. Really, I think one of the things that all of us, our friends and, and uh, Dario's family and all the, one of the, the underlying things was that there's not really ever gonna be a perfect time. There's never a guarantee. There's no absolute things that are gonna happen in life. And within just a couple of weeks after everything happened, it just made us just sit back and think, you know, life is just too short. We need to just, if this is what we think we wanna do, we need to do it now. We need to do it now. And, and, that, and that's what we did. We turned around and signed the paperwork the very next week. When we first got involved with Kona, we you know, obviously felt strongly about the give back. Um, I was trying to think of something that we could do. We had started the effort to raise funds for this memorial structure. We're talking about building in his memory. Um, we'll be um, right over here on the parade ground adjacent to this dining hall. Just a generic multi-purpose shelter and it'll be sort of a welcome center and, and I think that the structure is going to be used for um, training, for merit badge classes, for scoutmaster meetings, for senior patrol leader leadings, things that inevitably pop up at camp and it'll be useful. A lot of Dario's training started off in scouting and, and there'll be a reminder and, and an opportunity for him to continue to, at least in some fashion, perhaps inspire or, or facilitate others to, uh, to have uh, their own leadership training and to plan their own big adventures.